So we've talked about nerve impulses and how a neuron transmits information from the dendrites to the axon terminals of a single neuron. But neurons have to be able to stimulate other structures. So um, oftentimes a neuron stimulates another neuron in order to pass that information further through the body. Other times it might target a muscle in order to make the muscle contract or speed up or slow down the muscle contractions or it might stimulate a gland to release something so it could be releasing sweat from a sweat gland or releasing hormones from an endocrine gland now if we look here so this is looking at where the axon terminal and synaptic end bulb of one neuron is meeting up with the dendrite of another neuron. So you can kind of see up here, it's showing this neuron meeting up with this neuron here. So if we look at the synaptic end bulb, um, we'll notice that there's a little space in between the synaptic end bulb of one neuron and the dendrite of another neuron. And this is called the synaptic cleft. So what happens is that a nerve impulse travels along the axon down into the axon terminals and into the synaptic end bulbs. And the nerve impulse or action potential triggers the release of neurotransmitter. So there are these little bubbles of neurotransmitter in the synaptic end bulb. And when that nerve impulse makes its way down, it causes those to release their contents into the synaptic cleft. Now those neurotransmitters are able to stimulate the target by binding to these receptors in the target's cell membrane. And like we said, the target might be another neuron, it might be a muscle, it might be a gland. But what happens is that this neurotransmitter um, binds to a receptor in these gated channels and it opens them up. And typically it's a sodium gated channel so that sodium can then go into the target cell membrane and start depolarization in the target cell membrane. So basically depolarization through the act um, action potential, which we also call the nerve impulse, makes its way down through the cell um, of the the um, kind of initiate, initiating neuron, which causes the release of neurotransmitters, which bind to receptors and open channels in the target to allow ions to go into the target, which then starts depolarization in the target. So depolarization here, neurotransmitter release binds to the receptors, opens up channels in the cell membrane of the target neuron. Sodium goes into the cell, causes depolarization, which then travels down another neuron. And some examples of neurotransmitters include things like acetylcholine. This was a neurotransmitter that we talked about in the muscular system because it's how a neuron stimulates a skeletal muscle to contract. Some other that you might be familiar with are dopamine and serotonin. These are known as the happy neurotransmitters. And oftentimes if someone is struggling with depression or anxiety, they take a medication that helps to increase the presence of these hormones in order to bring the person out of the depression. And then another one called adrenaline, which um, is also called epinephrine, this is the one that's involved in giving you that adrenaline rush. And that's a neurotransmitter that targets things like your cardiac muscle to make your heart rate increase. And it also targets your um, the muscle in your, um, your trachea and your bronchi in order to open them up so that more air gets into your lungs in order to help you fight off some sort of threat. Now I'm going to go back um, real quick because I forgot to mention this term synapse. So I think we said um, a synapse is where one neuron targets another neuron. So this whole area here is called the synapse. So it includes the synaptic end bulb, synaptic cleft, and the target 
um, cells, uh, cell membrane. So this area is the synapse. And it's basically just the area where a neuron stimulates another structure.